We've had a massive crypto correction over the past few days and it's all because of the war in the Middle East. Now this might have front run the correction I was expecting from the Ethereum ETF denial on May 23rd and it's opened an excellent opportunity to buy more of the coins you have a high conviction in. Now I'm already fully allocated so the only thing I could have done is I could have sold earlier so that I can now buy. Unfortunately I didn't so the only thing I can do now is sit on my backs because I'm definitely not selling on a red day. Never never sell on a red day. The reason why is because often after a big sell-off the market rebounds and goes back to previous highs and this can happen even now although we've got a war going on. In my opinion and this is not financial advice but if the US manages to de-escalate and convince Israel not to retaliate so that we don't get a wider expansion of this war the crypto market will rebound very very quickly. If that happens the next crypto catalyst we'll be looking at is the Ethereum ETF denial and if you're still not convinced that the denial will happen happen go and watch the previous video I posted and then come back to this one. Either way the place we're at right now in the market is an excellent opportunity to buy more and although this is really good information to know I'm here to tell you that this is not enough because even if you have information coming straight from Warren Buffett and you do nothing about it you will not benefit in any way and this is exactly why I'm here not to just tell you what might happen but to also prepare you give you my opinions and tell you exactly how I'm playing this dip not financial advice. Now if I wasn't fully allocated I would 100% buy on this market dip. However I'm fully allocated so I'll continue to follow my previous thesis and wait for Bitcoin to go above 70k to start taking some profits into stable coins. I will then wait for the Ethereum ETF denial and fully allocate once again. But if you're able to buy right now then today we're going to look at seven meme coins. Yes seven meme coins that have the potential to 100x this cycle. Now you might ask why meme coins? Well because meme coins have become part of the crypto culture and some may say that meme coins are actually one of the most honest projects in the crypto world. Why? Well because they literally tell you that most of them are trash coins that provide absolute zero value apart from just your daily giggles. And when you see Franklin Templeton which is a 1.5 trillion dollar asset manager put out an article about meme coins then you know you're onto something. That being said, meme coins are completely dependent on their communities. If their communities share it enough and spread the word enough, then more people see it and more people buy into the project. This is exactly why the likes of Whiff, Pepe, Bonk, and many others have pumped 100x already. Now there are two ways of investing into a meme coin. Way number one is by simply investing into well-established meme coins that are backed by some of the most known people in the space. The second way is by simply gambling going to the meme coin casino on deck screener and just buying the brand new coins that have just come out based on their name, Twitter or website. Now you're not limited to only one. You can buy meme coins both ways. However, the first one is far less risky and given the fact that you're in crypto already, which is risky enough, it might be wiser for you to use a larger chunk of your portfolio for less risky investments and a smaller one for pure gambling. Now don't worry because I have both types of meme coins in store for you. In these seven coins you will see really a established meme coins and some really really degen casino picks. Also you shouldn't be discouraged by the fact that some of these meme coins have a large market cap. The reason why is because even if you don't want to buy them now just keep them on your radar because when that ETF denial comes these meme coins will most likely experience a drawdown of 70 to 80 percent and that is exactly when I'll be buying them. So yes the gains are still there to be made. Okay guys so before I reveal to you the seven best dog, cat, llama, frog and any other animal meme coins please like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that naughty bell. Now let's get into the video. Okay guys so the first coin I have on my list is Hemu and Hemu is Vitalik's cat. Now Hemu only has 11 million market cap so it's probably considered a very risky very degen play. However if we go over its Twitter we can see that this is the first and only founder's pet meme coin traded by the founder. So yes Vitalik trades this meme coin. This is a platform called Arkham Intelligence and I found Vitalik's wallet and as you can see he holds a lot of Ethereum. However if you scroll down a little bit further you'll find out that he also has Hemu in his wallet. Yes it's not a large amount but it does show you that he has traded this coin, he has bought it in the past and he continues to hold it. Now before moving on to the next coin I want to clarify something. In my opinion and this is not investment advice, I think that there'll be multiple meme coins that will reach tens and tens of billions of market cap and this time round it won't be just dog meme coins. No, we will see other narratives within the meme coin category reach these highs as well. 
And if it's not going to be just dog meme coins, then of course it makes sense for a cat meme coin to reach tens of billions of dollars market cap as well. This is why I've chosen Hemu, because it's a cat coin and it's very, very unique. Now what I've also done is picked a dog coin and a cat coin from each of the main chains. And in some of them, I've even gone a little bit further. So make sure you watch the whole video so you find out exactly what I'm talking about. Now for Ethereum, we have Hemu and Shiba Inu. However, Shiba Inu is too much of a high market market cap. It has 12.5 billion market cap and it's definitely not something I would get into so I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. However, when we go over to Solana, the best dog meme coin there is dog with hat. And yes, it's still at 2.8 billion dollar market cap even after the correction. However, it's already reduced by nearly 50% from the all time highs. Now let me explain to you what happens with meme coins when we have a correction. We're back to Shiba Inu's chart and what we're going to do is look at market cap because this chart is easier to navigate and I don't have to calculate four zeros. But if we look at the last bull run, we can see that Shiba Inu went all the way up to 13.6 billion market cap, at which point it went down and corrects it to 2.4 billion, which is more than an 80% correction. And what did it do after that? Well, it rallied back above all time highs and all the way to $43 billion market cap. So you can see how an 80% correction is completely normal. So you can see how an 80% correction is completely normal for meme coins even in a bull run. Now, if we go back to dog with hat, the all time high of with was $4.8 and 80% correction from there would take us below $1, which would be less than a billion dollar market cap. If that happens, you'll be buying it at a massive, massive discount. Now, if dog with hat really is the next Shiba Inu, which it is, and I'll explain to you why in a minute, but if it is, then let's make a realistic price prediction. So Shiba Inu last cycle reached $43 billion market cap. However, every next crypto bull run is bigger than the previous one. And if this next one is only bigger by 2x, that means that Dog with Hat will go up to $86 billion market cap, which would be 86x from $1 billion market cap. That being said, this bull cycle is supposed to be a super cycle. Why? Well, because institutions are here. We didn't have BlackRock and major Web2 banks with us last bull cycle. So in my opinion, 86x is just the base case for dog with hat. Now let me explain to you why this coin has such great potential. As I've previously said, there's only one reason and that is its community. You can already see that their Twitter has 79k followers. Their community is really active and they have lots of jokes. But the thing that stands out to me the most for this community is that it managed to raise $690,000 put that meme coin on the Las Vegas sphere. And this was a community raise, guys. No coins were held back. This was a fairly launched coin. The community raised 690 k themselves. This is why I have a really, really high conviction in this coin. Now, as I said to you, one dog and one cat from each blockchain. And my Solana cat is Mew cat in a dog's world. And this was actually a pretty hard pick between Mew and Wen because they're both really, really good cat coins. If we compare them both, Wen has 148,000 followers and Mew has 59,000 followers. Wen has all these memes about Wen Moon, Wen 100k, Wen all time highs and so on. But I felt that Mew fitted the narrative a lot better. The reason why is because it's a cat in a dog's world. And so far we've only had dog coins in the top 10 cryptos but we've never had a cat coin. If we go over to their website, you can literally see it's a cat in a dog's world, Mew. I will save them, all of them. It's a dawn of a new era. It just fits that narrative of cats versus dogs really, really well. Now the next blockchain we're going to look at is the Ton blockchain, which is the blockchain for Telegram. And the number one dog coin on there is Resistance Dog. If you're hearing about this now, you're still very early for this coin. It's only at $95 million market cap. And if this persists as the number one meme on Telegram, as Telegram continues to grow and develop, it does have the potential to reach billions. If you don't know about the Ton blockchain, I would really go and do my research on it because, because Telegram has nearly 1 trillion users and the potential to onboard a high percentage of them onto their blockchain. And if we look a little bit further into resistance doc, their Twitter account only has 10k followers. 
nothing like all the others we've seen, which means you're very, very early. Now let's go over to their website and you can see that it's all about the resistance. More specifically, this is the resistance to centralization and censorship. And Telegram is using this meme to onboard people onto TON, which stands for the open network. That being said, the TON blockchain is not really that developed. That being said, the TON blockchain is not really that developed and I couldn't find a good enough cat coin. But if I do in the future, I'll make sure I post it on my Twitter. So make sure you go and follow me at Alex Yanukov. Now moving on to Ben. Base, and Base is also an undeveloped blockchain, mainly because it's brand new. Base is a layer 2 on Ethereum and for some reason, meme coins seem to be blowing up on there. There were some really good cat coins and some really good dog coins. However, I've decided to go with a dog coin and a couple of other different narratives. So let's get into it. The first one we'll talk about is Base NG, and this is the number one dog coin on Base, currently only sitting at $34 million market cap. So yes, very, very early. The Twitter is only 6.7k followers, but as you can see, this is the oldest dog breed in history, born to live on base. They also have a very active community that posts multiple times a day. Now on to the next meme coin, and this time we're going to talk about Brett. No, it's not a dog, it's not a cat either, it's actually a frog. You see Brett here is Pepe's friend. Pepe is the green frog of Solana, and Brett is the blue frog on the blue chain. Brett is only 540 million market cap with the potential to go a lot higher. However, this is still too high for my liking and I would wait for a further correction potentially at the Ethereum ETF denial. I also really, really like Pepe. However, the only reason why Pepe didn't make it on this list is because there are two different Pepes. One is the original Pepe, which is a meme that's gone into AI, which is really odd. And then there's this one, which is the brand new Pepe that is just a meme and it's on Solana. But as you can see, this one is already at $2.2 billion market cap, even after the dip due to the Iranian drone strikes on Israel. But this just shows you how much potential Brett has. Okay, now if we go over to Brett's Twitter, you can see that it already has 42k followers. And I'll play you a short video about where it comes from. I mean, the first time I actually named him Pepe was for this comic that I did called Playtime. I was just messing around on Microsoft Paint and came up with Pepe and Brett two characters. They did things like go to raves, paint. It just kind of naturally developed. And I just thought it'd be fun to have four characters. Yes, it naturally developed into a $500 million market cap. Excellent. Now, if we go over to their website, you can see that this is Brett. There's Pepe down there. There's Brett. They're best of friends. Then there's the other two friends. I think one is Andy and I'm not sure about the name of the other one. However, I've decided to go with Brett because it's the most unique out of all of them. It's the blue frog on the blue chain. Now for my last meme coin on base, I've picked Degen. And what Degen is, is it's actually a layer two on base. And base is a layer two on Ethereum. So technically that makes Degen a layer three. Now the only purpose for this layer three is to trade meme coins. Okay, so this blockchain was built so DGENs can go on it and trade meme coins. That's it. It currently has $369 million market cap and I would personally look to buy some after a further correction, hopefully under 100 million. This is their Twitter and they already have 39k followers. And if we go over to their website and you can see the DGEN layer 3 chain is live now. EUM compatible low transaction fees built for DGENs. And in my opinion, this is probably the most unique coin out of all the others mentioned in this video. Okay, guys, with this, we've come to the end of the video. If you like the information and value I provide to you, please make sure you're subscribed and you follow me on Twitter at Alex Yanakov. Goodbye and see you in the next one.